His nomination and confirmation would mean that the guy who founded one of the nation's most prominent anti-vaccine groups would be in charge of the agency that makes recommendations on vaccines. Sold! We have seen nominations before from presidents of both parties where there have been ethical and substantive issues. Let's not forget, we had a nominee for HHS secretary in this administration who had never dealt with health care before being nominated. That's completely different. You all remember Jen Circleback Saki, who was only slightly less annoying than the Zoot Suit Clown, and of course ended up with her own MSNBC propaganda show, and has turned up again recently for cheering on Orwellian control of social media for, quote, misinformation, while she herself apparently has a free pass to spread misinformation. And no accountability for having disinformation spread, right? Um, and as you know well, and I mean, when I when I got started in democratic politics, you know, most of it was like local TV ads. That was what it was about. Obviously, national TV, local print, those local TV is held to a higher standard of accountability than social media platforms in terms of having accurate information on their platforms. That is crazy. Um, and so it, it is how do, how does it change? How is it how is it? How are people held to account? Laws have to change. Except Jen Psaki is spreading misinformation on social media. As I thought everyone knew by now, X does have a fact checking system in the form of community notes, which isn't perfect, but I trust them a lot more than I trust the current legacy media liars who continue lying even after they've been exposed. To prove that point once again, Psaki appeared on NBC this morning. And even after getting called out for the obvious double standards when it comes to reporting of Trump's cabinet picks versus Biden, she doubles down in the most typical, predictable, hilarious way possible. And if you think about it for a second, you're probably going to guess what she says. We have seen nominations before from presidents of both parties where there have been ethical and substantive issues. Let's not forget, we had a nominee for HHS secretary in this administration who had never dealt with health care before being nominated. So I, I think that the, the, well, the notion the attorney, that I, I'm not look, I'm not here to defend. He was the attorney general for the state of California. This is a so little bit of a difference. Had, this is a so little bit of a difference. Had, this is so a little bit of a difference. Totally different. It's different. It's different. It's different. It's different. It feels different. It's different because she did the thing. Even when you understand how deprived and warped their perception is, the human mind isn't fully equipped to fully understand how completely messed up these people are. Oh, it was different. How, Saki? Because he was attorney general? What the hell does being attorney general have to do with healthcare? Nothing! They pick out some random detail, then immediately convince themselves that this makes things incomparable. It's somehow different, and that means they're not the obvious hacks that we can all see they are. Don't take my word for it. Listen to what MSNBC and CNN had to say about it back when Barack Obama was trying to push through recess appointments. If the Constitution allows for recess appointments, Article 2, Section 2 says, quote, the president shall have power to fill up all vacancies that may happen during the recess of the Senate by granting commissions which shall expire at the end of their next session. I agree that the president and everyone agrees the president has a recess appointment power. This is a so little bit of a difference. Had, this is so a little bit of a difference. He had experience yeah. suing health care companies, uh, I but not I anything the, to do with health care. All I can say is that I am so glad that Trump got elected and is sticking 100% to all of these appointments. This is exactly what Democrats would do. And in their minds, and only their minds, it's somehow different when their opponents do it. And that's a big reason they lost. People see through it. And hopefully the Democrats don't wake up to that. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, both short and long form. So keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.